Welcome to the second um, tutorial um, where I'm bringing you through the um, Blender Summer of Documentation Character Animation Wiki that is available online. Now you can find that information in the first video and also on the um, links that I'll have in the description. Alright, what we're going to go ahead and do in this one is we're going to go ahead and start building the mouth. We're not going to complete it in this one. I want to keep the videos a little bit shorter, so if you're stressed on time or, you know, maybe this part was really easy, but the next part you really want to watch, then I don't want to have 500 million hours of boring stuff for you. Moving on. Just as a quick reminder, the way to get this scene to a fresh start, even though we did do it in the original, and a few just reminders to get you back up to speed, is to select all the objects in the scene, or to deselect them for right now, you would hit the A key. To select all of them now, I would hit the A key again, and now all of the items in the scene are selected. I can hit the X key to delete all of them, a reselected objects, a left mouse button, to select that and everything is gone. Also another reminder to get that 3D cursor in the center of the screen at the origin I would go ahead and hit the shift key and the C key and that would put that back at the origin for me which is exactly where I want it. Alright, the object we're going to make our mouth out of is going to be a plane. Now if I hit the space bar once again I will get my menu where I can add a mesh and a plane. Excellent. That puts me right in edit mode, which you can see by having the yellow vertices and the pink face. And I, it's exactly where I want it to be. Now for these tutorials, I want to go ahead and, at least most of the time, I want to go ahead and make sure that I don't have this manipulator on, which is these arrows right here. They're handy to have, but you can do most of the items that it can with hotkeys, which I'm going to focus on instead to clear up the viewport so you can go ahead and see what's going on. Now, there's two ways to do this. I will show you both. If I put my mouse over this icon down here, it says use 3D transform manipulator and the hotkey is control space. Excellent. Now I've just told you both ways to do it. I'm going to go ahead and click the icon which is going to make that manipulator disappear. To make it come back, I can hit control space and I can enable or disable it, whichever, it's a toggle. So I'll enable it. I see it again. Control space again to disable and I can also toggle it down here with that icon. Excellent. This is exactly where I want it. I'm going to go ahead and zoom in just by using the mouse wheel there I am, I'm a little bit closer. I want to make this point as well. Right now what we have is we have not very much detail at all really. We have four vertices, four edges, and one face. It's not really a lot to get a mouth out of and as big as my mouth is, this doesn't do the trick at all. <laughs> Moving on. The way to get more detail in this object and in all of your objects is to use a tool. And it's a good thing we're in the edit mode right now, editing F9, which is this icon right here. We can see under Mesh Tools, there's a subdivide button. I'm going to go ahead and push that once. And look what it did for me. It added four more vertices, four more edges. And now I have four faces. Excellent. But you know, I really don't want to have to do the work on both sides the whole time that I'm working on this mouth and on most of the head and basically the whole project. I just want to do it once and have the other side do the rest by itself based on what I do over here. The way to do that is I'm going to go ahead and mirror the object first I need a half an object to mirror. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is deselect everything and just select the edges and the vertices for that matter on this end of the on this side rather of the object. 
you see them selected as here. They're yellow and everything else is not. If I hit the X key, I'll go into my erase menu again and I'll just select vertices. That leaves me with half the object, which is exactly what I wanted. What I'm going to go ahead and do is tab out of edit mode into object mode. So once again that's the tab key that'll toggle between edit and object mode for me. Now I'm going to go ahead and add a modifier that's going to go ahead and mirror what I have on one side onto the other. Once again allowing me to just do the work one time. So that is once again making sure I'm in the F9 editing menu set. On the right hand side here it says modifiers. I'm going to go ahead and add modifier. And we have wave, UV project, subsur, smooth, mirror. That's the one I want. I'm going to go ahead and select mirror, making sure my object is selected first, which it is. It has that pink border on it. And I'm going to click. Now it looks like I have that plane again. It looks very, very similar to that plane I had before. There's two things in the options down here that I want to make sure we have selected. X axis, that's how it came to be this perfect plane again. Make sure it just mirrors it on the X axis, which it does by default. And do clipping. If I put my mouse over that, its description is prevents during transform vertices to go through mirror meaning that it'll keep those center vertices lined up so you never have to worry about it messing up your object. So I'm going to go ahead and click Do Clipping. Excellent. Now it looks like a normal object right now and you would never be able to tell the difference if it was mirrored or not. When I hit the Tab key to get back into Edit Mode though, it's a different story. And here's what I mean. See how this one side is grayed out, whereas the others I can still select all the vertices, move them around, and do all those fun things with them? Yeah, that's where the mirroring is going to come in very handy. However, one thing that I do want to do is not have a closed mouth, because I'm all about talking over here. <laughs> so I need a hole in my mouth. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to erase the center vertice. Now don't be alarmed if this disappears for a second. I'll explain why in a moment if it does happen. I'm going to go ahead and press A to toggle on and off just to make sure I have nothing selected. I'm going to hit B to box select and I'm just going to select this center vertice. Now with that selected I want to delete it. So I'm going to hit the X key and vertices. Oh no this half disappeared, just like I said it might. What happened is, we don't have any faces anymore for this to mirror. Because we erased this vertice, we only have three, and then three. This is a very important vertice, but we erased it for that very reason. We want to have that hole here. So we're going to go ahead and build an outline again. What I want to go ahead and do to get this a little bit more shaped like a mouth is move this vertice right here over a little bit and add some more detail. So the way to select this vertice is just right, mountain <laughs> right mouse button for that matter. I'm going to go ahead and right mouse button click on that. And now we're going to go ahead and talk about how to do transforms. First I'm going to show you how to do the one that we're going to do, and then I'll explain how to do the other ones. I'm going to hit the G key. G stands for grab, which is going to help me move those vertices around. Now I want to make sure that I'm only moving it in the X direction. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit the X key. The way for me to know what direction I'm moving these in is down here. The red line is going to be our X and the Z is blue so that's what this line is right here. We don't see Y right now but that will be represented by green. So knowing full well that I just want to move in the X axis as you can see here I'm moving my mouse like crazy and the only way it's moving is in the X axis which is perfect. 
and that dew clipping is keeping me from going over here. So that's excellent as well. So I want to move this over exactly two units. So I could go and try and get it perfect by going back and forth until I get it right on. Or I could just type in on my number pad the number two. And now it's perfect. To complete the tool, or the move for this matter, I'm just going to hit the enter key. Excellent. I have now created half a face. Uh, well, half a face's mouth. Yes, there it is. <laughs> All right. Now there's other hotkeys to be aware of when you're doing transforms. There's R for rotate and S for scale. Very easy to remember. So, and you can do all that proportional wise with only going the X axis on all of those or Y or Z. We'll talk about that in a little bit more detail a little later. I don't want to bog you down with it. There's also ample information on it in the wiki itself. All right. What we're going to go ahead and do now is talk about another tool called the Extrude tool. Now it's very easy to remember the hotkey for Extrude as well because it's an E, just like the first letter of the word. Excellent. What we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to hit the A key though to deselect everything and then the A key one more time to reselect it. Then we're going to the, hit the E key and we're going to get the Extrude menu. What option we're going to use is only edges because we don't want to move just the vertices, we want to move the whole edge so we get a more shape. I'm going to hit only edges and you know I don't see anything happening right now. But if I move down I can see that I'm moving everything because by default you're in the grab mode. I don't want to be in the grab mode. So I'm going to go ahead and hit escape and I'm going to hit the S key for scale, like we were talking about. Now you see how I get that dotted dash line? That's what I want. I'm going to go ahead and move away from the center, so pull down. And now see how I have a mirror effect going on again? That's because I've made faces again. So that's a really good thing, that's exactly what I want. I'm going to go ahead and hit enter because that's where I want the first line to end. And this is very subjective. Don't worry about getting exactly like mine. Just know that you don't want to make it too big because then you have to make the whole character really big. All right, so I'm going to hit extrude again. So E for extrude, only edges, S for scale, and I'm going to go ahead and move that out. I'm going to go ahead and either left mouse button or hit enter. I'm going to hit E for extrude one more time. Only edges and I'm going to make and I'm going to hit S for scale and I'm going to make this one just a little bigger. All right. That's my basic shape right there. I really like it. All right. Another thing I want to make you aware of is that from time to time, especially when you're doing extrudes, it'll keep those original vertices and it'll duplicate them so you really want to remove doubles the way to do that is by going ahead and hitting the W key so have everything selected hit the W key and go to remove doubles I don't have any double vertices right now, but you may get them during the process, so that's a good thing to check from time to time, because that's just wasted geometry that has to be, you know, rendered. I'm not going to go too much in detail, but just know that it is important to make sure you don't have any duplicate vertices. They're just, what that is, is just one vertice sitting on top of another and wasting space. All right, so we've done this really well, and I'm very excited that we've gotten this far. Now there are different things to do. We have some moving to do and a bunch of fun stuff like that and some loop cutting. What I'm going to do though is I just wanted to get the basics the basics done on this mouth and then we're going to go ahead and come back to it. 
I'm going to remind you how to save here. Press F2. Type in, I'll just name it BSOD mouth. I'm going to give it underscore 01. Reminding myself that you can always, and reminding you that you can always do steps this way just by going into F2, hitting the plus button, hitting enter, and then you've saved incrementally. I'm going to go ahead and hit save file. It says BSOD mouth underscore 01 dot blend. And this is where we'll start off the next time we start this lesson up again. Thanks so much for tuning in, and I hope you have a great night, day, morning, weekend, fiesta, <laughs> whatever it is. I hope you have a great one, and we'll see you next time. Thank you so much.